Hey, I'm Mark O'Brien. I'm the CEO of Newfangled, and I'm here today to talk about conversion management systems as opposed to content management systems. And the basic idea is that conversion management is the next step in content management and is built upon content management. And to describe the levels of the conversion management system, lately I've been um, making an analogy to Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you're not familiar with that, the basic 10 second rundown is that um, Maslow believes there are three levels of human need. And the first is just survival. We need to figure out how to live on this planet as individuals and groups. And after we do figure out how we can personally survive, then we can move up to the second level, which is forming meaningful relationships with other humans. So we you know, create families and towns and cities and social organizations, that kind of thing. And then the third level is self-actualization, when we reach our truest personal potential. But we can't get there if we don't figure out how to do the first two things first. If, we're not, if we can't survive and don't have the proper support and network, then we're not going to be able to reach our full potential. So that's the basic idea of the Maslow hierarchy. Again, quite simplified, but you get the gist. So on the CMS side, there are also three levels. And the first level is content management. If you can't use your site to very easily update content and add imagery and documents and all that sort of thing, then it doesn't matter what else the CMS does, it's not going to be a very effective tool for you. Uh, but that oftentimes is where people stop. <laughs> Things begin and end with content management. And we believe that there are two other very important steps that constitute the conversion management system. So the second step on that is the um, ability for the site to attract, inform, and engage prospects. So the CMS needs to help you, help the site, bring in the right people to the site by attracting them. Then once they get there, intuitively guiding them to the areas of the site they're most interested in, inform, and then bring them into engagement through conversions, and hence conversion focused. So by conversion, for these purposes, we mean uh, when someone gives you their email address in exchange for something, anything from signing up for a newsletter to buying something, or anything in between. Um, so that's the second level of CMS, the conversion management system, to attract, inform, and engage prospects. And the top level, uh, the pinnacle of the conversion management system is um, basically the way the tool teaches you how it's being used. So you can learn from the CMS so that you can then use the CMS to refine the site. And so the conversion management system at the top level will show you, for example, who's on the site, where they came from, what they're doing, how they converted, and all sorts of really interesting analytics around that. And so those three tiers together constitute the conversion management system. And what I want to do now is head over to my screen, which you can't see, but it's right there. It really is. Um, and uh, show you what this stuff looks like. So let's take a look. OK, so here we are on um, my screen <laughs> and looking at the newfangled site. And in an odd self-referential twist, we're actually looking at um, this month's newsletter to record the video for this month's newsletter. Uh, this here is a graphic that Chris Butler created to describe what I just described verbally, which is the parallel between Maslow's hierarchy and um, the hierarchy of the conversion management system. And I just want to look briefly at um, what we're talking about with these three levels. First, just basic content management then um, how a CMS will facilitate the roles of attract, inform, engage, and finally looking at microanalytics. Uh, so let's check it out. Um, for basic content management, um, I'm of course using our CMS here as I mentioned, and so if I wanted to edit a page, or simply go to that page, click content, edit, and then you know edit the page using the WYSIWYG editor probably everyone's seen a million times. So this is pretty straightforward stuff. Um, there are lots of ways of going about managing your site. Um, and you know, as long as the content management system doesn't get in your way, and hopefully at best is a pleasure to use and something you're really excited about interacting with, then you're in good shape. So we don't need to go uh, too far in depth on that one. In terms of facilitating the roles of attract, inform, engage, we think it's pretty important for the CMS on the attract side to allow you to edit the Google facing elements individually. So you can edit um, the title tag that defines what shows up here in the browser tab, uh, the URL, and what should be the H1 tag also individually here using the CMS by going to any page and editing the metadata tab. So whatever I put in as a file name, for example, as soon as I click save, will become that URL. And of course, there are 301 redirects going on behind the scenes, so everything's synced up nicely. Uh, in terms of uh, informing people, 
Uh, of course, we want to make sure all of our sites have very clear wayfinding. Uh, that's first and foremost. But we also have two other tools that uh, go quite a long way to guiding people to the right place based on their interests. One is this tool over here related to content where we're actually serving up the five most related articles to this article as the page loads. And we've got kind of a cool system behind there that makes that happen. And the other thing that we have in place is what we call smart search. And so uh, if we're doing a search on something, as soon as we type in a phrase or a parcel phrase, the site is reacting to our keystrokes and showing us you know, what content's available to us, what categories that content is in, any relevant imagery or dates and things like that. And so that's really a really nice way of getting to the content you're interested in as quickly and intuitively as possible. And on the engagement side, of course, uh, we want to make it very simple for people to, uh, our clients, to to assign calls to action on each page um, as they see fit. So what you can do is go into the CMS um, and edit the content and choose which calls to action should show up in the sidebar. And ideally, you know, an ideal conversion management system will show you all your different calls to action and allow you to choose any ones to be displayed on that page and also, of course, give you view order so you can set which calls to action should show up in what order on which page. Um, so that's a basic overview on how the CMS um, facilitates those roles of attract, inform, and engage. And finally, I want to look at uh, the micro analytics. So say, for example, I wanted to see who came to our site from a particular domain. I could type that domain in and look for any visitors. And if I find somebody, I could then click through to the details page. And when someone converts, we basically find what we can on them. We might be able to find an image, um, Twitter information, a LinkedIn bio. And most importantly, what we can do is go down here and click play and actually watch their session on our site. So every single time somebody comes into our site, we're actually able to see you know, the paths they take, and we're also highlighting key elements in terms of referral, conversions, and also uh, we're also pulling in Salesforce data for those clients of ours who use Salesforce. So that's the basic rundown on the three levels of conversion management. I hope this is interesting to you, and um, we look forward to next month's newsletter. Thanks a lot for your time.